to show you how to change an encoder O-ring on a Gamma Colty machine. This will work on a Gamma Plus, Statler, and Vision. First, we're going to change the encoder O-ring on the encoder that's attached to the head. You're going to lift up your encoder and just roll it off. Now you'll notice that this encoder is cracked. And you can see that when it's actually on the encoder. Sometimes it'll also look like this, obviously broken. And we know for sure that that needs to be changed. Now to put on the new one, you'll grab a new one. You want to hold this gently so that way you're not pushing too hard against it. Usually if you go from the back it's a little easier. And then hold it and rotate it on. And sometimes it can be a little tricky. And once you got it on, you just check it, make sure it's going to roll, and you've got that one changed. Now we're going to change the encoder o ring on your cross track. Now this is a breeze cross track and this one actually rolls against the table in the back. What you want to do is hold your encoder out, roll off the o-ring, grab your new o-ring, hold the encoder out again. Now be careful not to jerk it back and forth. You want to hold it nice and so still. Go from the back and then you're going to roll it on. Again, sometimes it can be a little tricky, so just hold it and get it on there. You'll put it back on the table, and then you're just going to make sure it rolls back and forth. And once you did that, you know you've changed your O-ring. Now I'm going to show you how to remove the head from a non-breeze cross track. The first thing you want to do is go to the pickup roller and raise it up so you have enough clearance. Then you want to unplug all the cords that are in the back that are attached to the cross track. Make sure that you have a really good padded surface over here, a moving blanket, anything to put on here so when you put the machine down it protects it. Then you're going to come over here, take two people, lift, lift it up and gently put it down. Now that we've taken the machine off the cross track and brought the cross track over here to a table, we're going to get our tools and we need to remove this wheel. Once we've loosened it, take the nut off and take the screw out, the wheel off, and that releases the encoder. As we gently hold the encoder, we're just going to roll off the old old ring. Then we're going to put the new one on. Once we have that on, we're going to push the encoder back down. We want to make sure that we line up the wheel with the encoder o-ring. Put our screw back in. Put the nut back on. Tighten it back up, rotate the wheel, make sure that the encoder o-ring is rotating. There you go, you've just replaced it.